Hey Ruby. Hi. How are you doing? I'm okay, Sunny. This is Kibaki video. Uh, can you tell us your current living situation and what you're doing day to day to survive in here, Boston, Massachusetts? I um, mean, especially mass and cars. Uh, currently, I am homeless. Um, for a day to day basis, I I try to get materials that people ask for, you know, so I can survive basically. Um, I ask people if in the store sometimes for things. Um, and sometimes I do things that I'm not proud of to get some money. Where are you born? I was born in Puerto Rico. Oh, Puerto Rican. Mm -hmm. Mucho español. Ponce. I know. So how old are you? If you I don't am mind. I'm 22. 22? Oh, you're still young. Yes. So what's your drug of choice? Um, my drug of choice is cocaine. That's the thing. How long I mean, you doing this? I've been doing this since I was 13. If you don't mind if you explain to me who introduced you to drugs? Um, so I was in foster all my life. I graduated high school from Fenway High. And I moved back home. I ate that DCF pussy. I moved back home to my real family. And uh, um, they were, you know, um, active in addiction. And, you know, they introduced me to it when I moved back home. Like in who? Like specific? Like, you know, you uh, have... uh, My parent, you know, she she was deep in addiction. And I, I chose to believe that, you know, she was healthy and well okay. And I aged out of DCF custody thinking, you know, everything was going to be okay. And, and when you say you graduated high school, yeah, I mean, you graduated here? Yep, from Fenway High. Oh. I actually was class of Victorian. I gave the speech at my graduation. You was popular in high school? No. <laughs> what kind of grade did you get it? What was that? What kind of grade when you was in high school you got it? Straight A honor roll. And what would you say to the young people who are curious to try these dirty drugs? I would say to kill your curiosity, you know, listen to what people say even in this video and it's not something that you're gonna enjoy and it's it's not even something in the moment that it's fun and, and if people say it's, you know, a joy ride or whatever. It's really not, and you'll think for a second, oh, you know, maybe I'll try it once to be cool, to see what it's like, to kill curiosity, but at the end of the day, it's not something that you want to go into because it's like a rabbit hole. You can't get out of it, and it's hard to. How many times have you been to jail? Never. Do you have a kids? No. What was that how, question? Do you have a kids? Yes. Uh, how many? I have two kids. How long have you been, I mean, how, how often do you, see, you go to see your kids? Uh, not as often as I want to. Can you explain like why, if you don't um, mind? Because I fell back into addiction and, you know, the people, my family that have them, you know, rather me get myself together first so I could be, you know, um, good enough to be able to take care of them and stuff. How old were you when you had your first baby? I was 13 years old when I had my first daughter, my first baby. Mm -hmm. Was he a boyfriend or how did he have? Um, my boyfriend was 19 years old, turning 20, and I was 13. Were you dating him? Huh? Did you guys have plans? Were you dating him? Um, I wasn't really dating him. Um, he was just he was somebody that he was somebody that used to come over in my house and. Um, you know, uh, I, 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 he was the first person I was with, and, you know, I was young and naive, and, you know, he told me what I wanted to hear, and I got pregnant, and I didn't really see him much after that. And how old is your first baby again? Right now, she is eight. Eight. And the second one, how old is she? He. Oh, he, okay. You yeah. have got him. He boy. is three, turning four. Oh, that's good. Are they same dad or you have a different dad? No, um, uh, my daughter's father is um, different than my son's father. Which part of, I mean, Puerto Rico are you born? Because I know San Juan, everybody says San Juan. Mm -hmm. Nope, I was born in um, Arroyo. And what kind of help you need to be recovering? Uh, support. I would like to go into a program, a treatment facility, maybe out in Worcester or something away from here. If your family knows that you are out here, on the street, what would you say to them? I didn't know what to say. They would be disappointed because I've done so good and then I fall back into the same 
you know, troubles. And if you have a three wishes to say, what's your wishes? My three wishes? Yes. To be clean off addiction and drugs forever. Um, to be happy with my children. And to, to just have a good life, share free and be stable. Have a home. So, and what do you see yourself in five years? In five years, hopefully, I see myself clean and sober with my children and happy. You say you're 20, 22, so you are young and beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, how many times have you been to OD? To OD? Yes. Uh, twice. Twice? Yeah. It was heroin or cocaine? Uh, it was heroin, but I didn't know it was. It was laced. Um, a lot of the times there will be um, not very much females, but males who offer me help and there's been a couple of uh, situations and times where I've been in dangerous situations where they have offered me a ride um, to a destination that I was going to, whether late at night, and sometimes there was one situation where a guy locked the doors and tried to keep me inside. And, you know, it's just a lot of dangerous situations. Also, sometimes, uh, since I'm homeless, I get really, really tired, and I, I'll sit down somewhere and I fall asleep. And strangers, you know, sometimes they try to take advantage of somebody that's like incoherent and do whatever they want. And so it's just it's really dangerous out here in the street for somebody who, like myself, is dealing with what I am. Are you doing dead for drugs? Um, no. So cocaine lasts just a couple minutes. Uh, and uh, heroin lasts, depends, on maybe an hour or so. That's it. All right, thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you.